ready start having heard learned counsel for the parties this court finds that the arguments raised by the learned counsel for the petitioners are not legally sustainable stop so far as the compromise between the parties under which the petitioner can take recourse is concerned the same has already been held to be finally revoked by this court with further liberty to the respective parties to prosecute their criminal cases against each other stop therefore by any means it would not have been possible for the trial court to give effect to any kind of agreement oblique compromise or consent on the part of the complainant on its own stop hence the only question which the trial court could have considered is whether the application filed by the petitioner for compounding of the offence under section 138 of negotiable instruments act would have been allowed even without consent of the complainant stop the trial court has rightly rejected the application for compounding moved by the petitioners for the lack of necessary consent from the complainant stop this court does not find any illegality or infirmity in the order passed by the trial court stop so far as judgments cited by the learned counsel for the petitioner are concerned this court finds substance in the argument of the learned counsel for the respondents that the judgment of the honorable supreme court does not specifically deal with the issue of compounding of an offence under section 138 of negotiable instruments act in absence of consent of the complainant stop this judgment primarily proceeds on the assumption that in the facts of that particular case there was a consent between the parties can appropriately be permitted to compound the offence under section 138 of negotiable instruments act stop although the honorable supreme court held that even under section 147 of ni act the offence under section 138 of negotiable instruments act can be compounded at any stage however the honorable supreme court laid down a graded scale of costs to be paid by the party applying for compounding with reference to the stage of proceedings at which the compounding has been sought by the party stop beyond that this judgment has no significance so far as the question of consent of the complainant for compounding is concerned stop it has been further held that the use of the non obstant clause in a statute has to be considered with reference to the context in which it has been 
यूज्ड स्टॉप